Hello, my name is Mark Balkanady and I am the Director of Technical Product Marketing at Talent. Today I want to show you how Talent and RESTlet will help you better design the best API the first time. REST is a popular style of APIs used today thanks to its simplicity and natural tendencies to work well on the web. In REST or REST-like APIs, servers and client applications exchange messages such as a get, post, and delete. REST APIs are commonly used as interfaces between mobile, web, IoT, and within backend of popular applications. I'm going to show you how using RESTlet Studio and client tools you can greatly improve the design and documentation of your APIs including ones built in the Talent Studio. Within the Talent Studio I have an example of a REST API and it has defined the different operations or actions of an API in REST endpoint. It has the REST API implementation that gets the top 10 sales by company. I have defined the responses as well, one being a 200 response for valid returned responses and the error response of 400 for when no data is returned, for example with no sales records are located in a filtered region. What I need to do now is complete the design and documentation, the full API contract before I continue building the implementation in the Talent Studio. I need a fast and easy way to map out all the actions, data structures, and valid and invalid responses. I'm going to now switch over to the RESTlet Studio to show you how I can enhance, enrich, and test the same API but in a more graphical user interface. The RESTlet Studio helps people working on two important stages of API projects, design and documentation. With an easy learning curve, even non-developers can design an API and publish its documentation with RESTlet Studio. Thanks to its graphical user interface, RESTlet Studio is also a favorite for people who want to create Swagger or a RAML API documentation. Without having to learn this complex syntax, of these languages. I can get started by creating a brand new API from scratch or importing the definition of an existing API like the one from the studio I was showing earlier in the video. Once I import the existing API, I can start adding additional documentation specifications, all the needed components of an API contract, like adding it to an existing API already defined, such as my company's operations. I can document the proper header parameter and filters, such as this action can be filtered on region. I can quickly see the response types, like the valid response of an API status 200, which has an array of the company sales records. I can add additional response types, such as the 400 error response for failed or invalid calls to the API. Next, I may need to add more operations, such as a new get method to return the top 10 sales by product grouping. I can start defining new operations here first, and as well as defining all the actions and responses. This will help the entire team know how to develop all the APIs right before returning into the Talent Studio. Once complete, I can use the RESTlet client to test the operations with the Try It Now button, which will help myself and the team know and understand if we have created all the APIs correctly and if the API contracts have a good overall design and documentation before I can go back into the Talent Studio to build the final implementation of the APIs. The RESTlet client gives me a fast and graphical easy way to see the results of any of my APIs that I've developed within the studio very quickly as you can see here. Thank you and I look forward to showing you more design and build functions with the Talent and RESTlet Studios.